Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Danielle, I'm a wife and I'm a mummy to a little boy named Leo who is 22 months old. I make videos and post them every Wednesday at 7 p.m. However, if I have any extra content to share, then I will share it. Now, as you can probably tell from the title, today I'm going to show an Aldi food shopping haul. I'm also going to go through our meal planner for the week. Boo! <laughs> Leo's hiding from me. Um, yeah, I'm going to go through our meal plan for the week. Meal planning is something that I do every week, um, regardless to whether we're in lockdown or not. Um, it's something that I'm quite passionate about, as you probably may guess from a few of my videos. Um, Leo actually has a cow's milk allergy and a wheat allergy. So even though you may be looking at some of these recipes and thinking, or some of the food that we've bought, where are we catering for him? I must do a small disclaimer that we actually do a fortnightly shop at Asda to get all of his free from products because Aldi currently don't stock what we need. So that'll be like bread, uh, cheese. Um, we also get nappies from Asda as well as we used to use the Aldi ones, but for some reason they just stopped working for us and he was leaking. Um, so yeah, we changed over to Asda and that's been much better for us. Um, we are trying to obviously limit our shopping as shopping trips as much as possible. Um, we are just doing a weekly shop as normal just because that's as much as we can store, to be honest. You know, we haven't got a huge fridge freezer, we haven't got a huge cupboard space um, and we don't definitely don't want to stockpile or anything like that. So that is what we're doing. My husband is just there now and he's on his way back. So what I'll do is when it comes back, we'll give everything a clean. I'll get everything out on the side and then I'll show you what we've got. Okay, so the shopping is back, it's all been wiped down, it's ready. The shopping actually came to £67.27, which is within our normal range of what we would shop every week. And the food that we have bought is the stuff that we would normally buy. I'm going to start here. Um, we get the malted bloom loaves from there. If you haven't tried them, you absolutely have to. And um, these were actually 50% off today, but we actually freeze our bread anyway. So this will be going straight in the freezer. We then got some tortilla chips. These are spicy sriracha ones. They're really, really nice. They're a bit like um, a bit like a Dorito, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we've been struggling to get food crisps, to be honest. But yeah, we've got them anyway. Bagels are really nice for either breakfast or a lunch with like avocado on. I always serve mine with like an egg or something on the side. Maybe some like mushrooms done in garlic butter. Always really nice. Or even peanut butter for an easy like naughty treat. These paleo bars, um, the hazelnut and cacao, they are so nice. If you want like a healthy version of something that tastes kind of like Nutella, these are for you. They're absolutely gorgeous. Chocolate chip cookies, because these are just beautiful. We tend to have two of these each, my husband and I, um, for like a dessert after um, Leo's gone to bed with a cup of tea. I've got some fruit and nut mix to try and be good and snack on those. Some olives, because myself and Leo absolutely love them. And we do tend to serve them with like a lunch or as a snack with something else. Um, the little carrot cake bars are for Leo. Um, they are dairy free and wheat free. So he's absolutely fine with those and he loves them. The chocolate covered rice cakes are again mine. I absolutely love these. Um, the noodle pots, these are for my husband um, to take to work. He doesn't always have access to a fridge. He is a key worker. So something like this is really quick and easy for the days we don't have time to prepare something for him. The protein yogurt, again, is for my husband to take into work. He's really got into these lately. Um, the ground almonds we get every week. I use these in recipes um, for Leo as a substitute for flour. Um, if I'm making like a cake or a cookie or even his um, banana pancakes for breakfast, I will use these for. And then some hummus, again, for lunches. Uh, Leo absolutely loves hummus. I will do this with cucumber, with carrots, anything like that. He loves it. Now getting on, oh sorry, we've got some fried chicken milli, uh, yeah, chicken milli fillets. We're gonna have these in wraps with some salad today for our lunch. Um, getting on to dinners. Now we're going to be having, we're going to try these chicken chipolatas. I've heard so many things about them. Um, so yeah, we're gonna give those a try and I'm gonna make those with a sausage casserole mix with loads of veg. Um, I've not made it before, but my husband requested, he really fancied uh, like a steak pie. So I'm gonna have a go at doing a steak pie. Um, I'll just serve that with, I've got some spinach left over in the fridge and we've got some broccoli, so I'll serve it with that. Um, I'm then going to be doing a vegan chilli one night. I've already got some lentils in the cupboard, um, so we've got some rice and we'll do that. 
I'm also going to be doing a spaghetti bolognese. Now I actually batch up my mincemeat. I've actually mentioned this in a video before. Um, so I've got some in the freezer, like a third of a pack. I'll get that out and defrost it and I'll also use some lentils as well with that. So I've got my chopped tomatoes for both uh, spagol and chilli there. Um, another night we're actually going to have in a roast chicken with veg. And then the following night, I will use the leftover chicken to make a chicken curry. I've already got some coconut milk in the cupboard. Now moving on to like our dairy stuff, we have got 12 eggs. We will get through these in a week quite easily. Um, Leo will sometimes have like a scrambled egg uh, with like a breakfast or lunch, something like that. And we, we tend to use these quite a lot. The smooth almond butter is also mainly for Leo. Um, peanut butter is for my husband and sometimes for myself if I'm feeling like a treat. Uh, this vegan butter, it's quite new in store um, with Aldi and it is really nice. I'm really funny with the butters. We all tend to use the same butter just because it's easier. Um, and some of the ones that we've tried, we've not been too keen on, but this one's lovely. And also the floral one's really nice. Um, this cheese, really nice. We always get the lighter one. My husband prefers it. Um, yeah, we just use it for all sorts, really, all different dishes. I'll probably make like a cauliflower cheese or something to go with our roast dinner. Um, so I'll be using this one. Our milk, just for myself and my husband. We also needed some sponges this week. We take one of these every morning normally. It's the vitamin C and zinc. Zinc is really good for your skin, so we always pick up the one um, with zinc, which is fine, that really does help. We've not been able to get this for weeks, so I'm really excited that um, he could get that today. Now, something that's new that we saw in there today, or well, my husband saw in there today, is this Eco kitchen cleaner, and it's in rhubarb, so I'm guessing it's gonna be a bit like the method cleaner. Um, we need to kitchen clean it anyway, and I'm so pleased they've got an eco one in there because I do prefer to use like a more eco-friendly one so that I can use it on the high chair as well. Um, we run out of our peppermint tea this week. I drink lots of peppermint tea, especially around that kind of time of the month. So we're absolutely out and I'm desperate for some. So my husband's got me those. Yorkshire tea, because it really is the best. And we are drinking so much tea right now. I don't know about you, but we are getting through it like crazy. Um, Waters, we always buy a four pack of waters. My husband will tend to take one of these to work. I'm quite happy drinking tap water, but he's a bit of a fuss pot. Moving on to a few naughty treats. We are not big alcoholic drinkers, to be honest. We, we really don't drink a lot of alcohol at all. Um, but we've just got a couple of these to try. They're quite handy. We've been doing a lot of Zoom quizzes and some of them have been quite pub quizzy. Um, so it's quite nice for us just to have one of an evening when we're doing one of those. Um, yeah, we've got these ones, rhubarb and pink grapefruit. We've got a blood orange and black currant to try. And we've got two gins, the plum and pink grapefruit one. And I'm really excited to try this one. It's passion fruit and coconut gin with pineapple juice. That looks absolutely beautiful. And then Nordic berries and a strawberry and lime. It's a bit like the Copperberg really. And then our kind of treat drinks with dinner really we normally drink water or tea during the day and um, we get these fizzy and still flavored waters we've got lemon and lime elderflower lemon and lime sparkling and peach and orange um they're really nice i'm just going to take you over to the other side it's so a four l fresh fresh product sorry we have got some british maris pipo potatoes They'll go down with lots of meals that we're doing. Um, some celery that I'm going to be putting in my vegan chilli, like chopped really finely. I'll probably put some in this paper bowl as well. I'm always trying to sneak veg into um, my husband, to be honest. Leo's quite happy to eat it. My husband's not very good with veg. Um, cucumber, because that will go with our hummus and any salads we make. Peppers, also to go in our chilli and yeah, anything that's dip in the hummus. Onions, because they pretty much go in every dish. Um, some apples, because we snack on apples during the day. Some salad to go in like in our wraps and to, to make up like a bigger salad. Carrots, same sort of thing for the hummus and to go in some of our recipes. We've got pineapple this week. I like to try and mix things up and get something different every week so we're not just eating the same um, things day in, day out. And uh, sorry, Leo's got more things to try and have. We've not had that in ages, so I thought that'd be really nice, especially as the weather's been so nice. Three lots of bananas. I'll be honest, we'll get through these easily. We go through at least three lots of bananas a week. Um, something we've been having is the wonky blueberries out of there. Now, I don't really know how you can get a wonky blueberry, but to me, they've just been a lot more juicier and bigger. So they've actually been better um, and they were cheaper. So that's great. Leo has them every day with his breakfast. Strawberries, um, Leo also has every day with his breakfast. We'll easily get through those. Cauliflower, I'll probably use half to do like a cauliflower cheese for myself and my husband. And the rest of it will go into my chicken curry. The 
broccoli also we'll use it in the roast and then I'll probably use that at other dinners as well with Leo and then the sweet potatoes I also put this in my chicken curry I'm going to use it in the vegan chili as well for a recipe that I found on BBC good food and also they make really nice sweet potato like chips I make like a healthier version for myself and Leo <laughs> I hope that you like this kind of video if you do please let me know in the comments down below and I'll know to keep making this kind of content and I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe bye guys